yes. Oh, God, yes. Oh, good God, yes. Come on. Good day, one and all. Welcome back to the channel and back to my latest little fad, Time Guesser, which is a great little game which lets you attempt to guess the not only the date of a photograph, which we were having so much fun doing on Chrono Photo, which I will return to, but also the location. Uh, some of the photos are famous, some not so much. There's a couple of little flaws in this um, from first inspection, but they might have been fixed for all I know. Anyway, the aim today is simply to beat last week's score, which wasn't bad. And it was 44967. 44,967. Let's give it a go. So, first, wow, seriously. Is that an actual photograph? I d I've never seen that. Mixed emotions because this is a sad scene. Don't know if that's the first wave or what, but it's bound to be some dead people on that beach. Uh, so sad scene, but chance for some points, I think. Ah, but, 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 but. Okay, first of all, how do we change? Ah, yeah, there's a little slider here. So first of all, 1944, right? I used to think that it was much earlier in the war when I wasn't quite so clued up. I used to think it was 41, 42, but I've since learned a lot. Not that much. Uh, 44. Now, this could be a number of beaches, but if we can just find one of them, um, I'll be happy. So can we find, you know, Omaha Beach? Now, it was Normandy where they landed. So one of them would have been around this area. And then, yeah, maybe down here. The map is zooming quite slowly. And then others, I think, probably be around here somewhere, potentially. But I don't know. I think I'm going to stick in this area, you know. Maybe they landed up here near Cherbourg. So I'm going to have a little search for one of these beaches. This has got to be one. That's got to be one of them, hasn't it? There's, there's four, I believe. So I'm going to have a little search and I'll speed this up for you. Satellite, there we go. Come on then. I found this beach here, which does seem to have like, it has a museum here, but I just can't click on Utah Beach. Yes, I knew that would be something. Utah Beach. Okay, I probably missed a load of them. Yeah, I'm just going to go Utah Beach then. Although, if I look at the satellite, I'm not seeing really any hills in the background. So, I've got it. No, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. What's the point? Could be I could be clicking anywhere in North France. We continue. We continue the search. D-Day House, Omaha Beach. Okay, let's have a look at the satellite now. Yeah. I think we've got more of a cliff going on here. I do. And then there's the gap in the middle. So yeah, Omaha Beach. And it's also, I don't know why, but it's the most famous, most iconic. So I'm going to put my marker there. Well, we could even look at the tallest bit of this. Um, I'm going to put it there and let's, let's give it a go. Oh my, lots of, lots of process here. Um, oh good. They've moved it. They, they have made changes here, guys. They've moved it around. Right. So very quickly, chief photographer's mate, Robert F. Sargent, Coast Guard, uh, troops of the U.S. Army 1st Division disembarkment onto Omaha Beach on D-Day. 2.1 kilometres away. Um, don't know if that's completely right, but the year is correct. The location is mighty close. A perfect score here is going to be insanely hard. I am really happy with that, though. So, And I'm happy with where my face is, I think. Yeah, moving on. Right. Now this could be harder. British flag, 
Australian flag, I think that is, because it doesn't have the... It doesn't look quite like the New Zealand flag. Does that look blue? The blue, if... It's hard to tell what shade this is, because obviously it's in, it's in black and white. That's blue there, right? So that looks more like red, in actual fact, because it's the same as the red on here. But it could be a lighter shade of blue. I'm not exactly how black and white works in that sense. There is a car, and it looks like a pretty damp old car. We're probably looking... 1920s or earlier really um so don't really know uh, not completely sure what the flag is and yeah we have these guys with i don't even want to want to say what guns they are really rifles muskets rifles he does actually look fairly aussie doesn't he he actually does that's descended from a scotsman though that sort of thing. And him. He looks pretty Aussie too. I don't know. They could be... They could be Aussie. They could be British. Is she someone famous? Is he someone famous? Quite possibly don't know. My history knowledge isn't great. And that's why I'm probably going to get quite a poor score here. Um, but we'll give it a go. We'll say that it's in Australia. I'm not sure about these trees. Where would this be if this was Australia? Sydney, I guess. I'm thinking more Melbourne, cause, just because of the trees, really. It's hard, man. This is hard. Got to guess the year as well, of course. Okay, year, I'll go... We'll say that it's the end of World War One, and they're thanking the, the Anzacs. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Melbourne... We're going to go somewhere really historic in Melbourne. Um, you know, some sort of old government building. Let me just quickly find one. Parliament of Victoria. Okay. Seems to be facing in the right angle as well for my liking. Um, but this is almost definitely wrong. 1918, Parliament of Victoria. But again, let me reiterate that it's the idea that this is right. You know, imagine, imagine how insane it would be to get the year and the location. Just, but it's not going to happen. I'm going to make the guess though. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. This does make sense. And it's not, the year is bad. The year is pretty bad. The score is not great as a result. Yeah, it's Canberra, which makes all the sense in the world because that is the capital. Um, I thought maybe Canberra wasn't yet the capital, deep down in my mind. Melbourne was 464 kilometres away. 13 years away, though, is pretty bad. But I just thought, well, look at the clothes they're wearing. It's pretty hard to tell. But that is the first Australian-born governor general takes the salute from the steps of the then new parliament house so that could be the year that it became capital don't know i'm not saying it is calm down aussies uh next round that's put a dent in the score though that has okay what is is this a big drugs seize or something it looks like it does look okay let's look into this U.S. Coast Guard. Nice tattoo, man. U.S. Coast Guard. Something Clark. Okay, that's not relating to any... Sorry, I'm looking at her tattoos here. Something happy... Think happy thoughts. Well, that's what you'd have to do, isn't it, if you had a tattoo like that. Right, so they're on a container ship. That's all we know. That is all I know. And I think I'm going to get punished for my abuse of this woman um, by getting a terrible, terrible score here. Although we can go for the... Okay, hang on. Let's try and think. What what Was this in the news? Big drugs bust. If it was, I don't remember. It seems like this was a long time ago, judging by 
the photo, the vibe of the photo, the quality of the camera. I'm thinking 2006. No, these tattoos are a newer thing with all the colors, all the colors, the colors, you know what I mean? On the tattoo, the bright colors. I think this is more, I'll go 2012, right? And where am I going? Where am I going? Now it's a drugs bus, so Florida? Yeah, Scarface? Is the sun shining? Kinda. There's one in Mobile, I know that. I don't even know where many naval bases are, truth be told, so I'm gonna go Mobile, Alabama, is it? Port of Mobile. I mean, it's not gonna be right, so I'm just gonna go there and I'm gonna not forget to change the date to 2012 and I'm gonna make this awful guess. I might have to have several attempts at this today because this is not going well. Or is it? You. There's a naval base here. Port Everglades. No, forget that. Delete all that. Delete all that. Delete all that. No, forget that. Forget that. Forget that. Why didn't you stick with that? Why didn't you stick with that? You tit. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself for that. Well, I was two years off. But it was Miami. There's no indication that it would be Miami on the photo. It's not even a clear blue sky. It's just that is where drugs are more likely to be seized, isn't it? Really. And not just because of Scarface. US Coast Guard offloading 3 million worth of seized cocaine and marijuana. Oh, they've seized it maybe overseas and they've brought it back to Miami. Either way, I'm really annoyed that I'd moved to mobile... Alabama. Stupid boy, stupid. Fuck. Not a bad score. We're already below the score that I'm trying to beat with two rounds left. So we're going to have another go at this today. That, I believe, is Emmeline Pankhurst, very famous suffragette in the United Kingdom who got arrested a couple of times. Maybe it's not her. It might be Emily Davidson or Emmeline Pankhurst is one of those famous suffragettes. And they look to me like the gates of Buckingham Palace. And I've got nothing better than that. So on this occasion, I'm gonna make it fairly quick. Buckingham Palace. Oh, there is, a, there is actually a year on it. Oh dear. Well, maybe you should scrub that off again, owner. I know you've got a lot to do. May 21. 21st of the 10th, 14. I would have guessed about 1922. I thought the suffragette thing went on for a bit longer and it probably did. But it looks like she's about here. Would that be there? Yeah, that would be about there, wouldn't it? Now we might get the location on this occasion. We go 1914, well we might get a perfect score. Oh my goodness me. Emmeline Pankhurst, I even got the right woman. Mrs. Emmeline Pankhurst, leader of the women's suffragette movement, is arrested outside Buckingham Palace while trying to present a petition to King George V. Wow, hardly crime of the century, but I guess she was in their bad books by this point. Um, 5,000, 5,000, 11.3 metres away. I mean, that is incredible. Now, final one for this one. We won't take too long on it. Um, God, look at these guys. Where are these guys from? Are they American? Are they British? God, it's fascinating, isn't it? Don't know what's going on. Are they German? Is that, I, I'm sorry, I'm really not good with it. Oh, they're Russian. They're Russian, I can see the hammer and sickle. It's actually not bad quality, is it, this? So they're Russian. They don't look that Russian to me. And what are they doing? Maybe, th maybe this guy's American and they're, you know, they've met in the middle. Kind of like... Uh, the last video, met in the middle with Brits or Americans. He, he's not, I don't know. Uh, he's not Russian. He's got to be British. Let me know in the comments if you know the nationality of him and him. And even him for that matter. Um, so I'm going to go 1945 again. It's a similar story to the, if my theory is correct, the first video. And I'm going to say that this is going to be in Berlin again. 
and we're near a body of water. This could be way off, I've just got nothing better. Let's go here. Got a body of water there, which I don't know. I don't even know if that is a body of water. There's a hill in the background, so this probably isn't right, but here goes, 45 Berlin. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, it's Finnish. One year off, one year out, and this is on the Finnish border. No, it's not. It's near the Finnish border. Um, a Soviet officer left, and a Finnish corporal, I'm guessing is this guy, dashing guy, comparing their watches during the ceasefire of the continuation war. So I did know that Russia fought Finland in World War Two. Maybe, yeah, maybe Russia just thought, you know what, not worth it. Why are we fighting you? We've got bigger fish to fry. Uh, so I don't know, but there we go. I've ended on 7799. Final score is 42136. Not bad, not, not far off last week's effort, but um, now to try and beat it. I am beating that score in this video and I'll let you know which attempt it was, how many attempts it took. Here goes. Here's the next attempt. Right. Very tempting, but we'll go again. Oh, wow, okay, okay. Okay, so this is gonna be, now remember, I'm not from America, so I need to remind myself, was it 2019? The race was in 2019, COVID hit, yeah, because it was Clinton that he beat, right? Yeah, so this will be 2019, Georgia. Now, okay, Georgia, Michigan. It's not necessarily going to be... We're not necessarily going to be in Michigan, are we? What's this? Country of... Country of... Is that relevant? I'm not sure. Now, wait a minute. New Zealand... I don't know what's going on here. We're in New Zealand. Something cham, New Zealand. Why? We've got to be New Zealand. It's got to be that way around. There are there are United States flags up, but that wouldn't that wouldn't be there if we were in America. I wonder if there's anything on here. Next polls close. CNN election. Key race alert. Okay, nothing's really giving away, you know, that that's, this, this is being broadcast in another country. So I'm going to go to New Zealand and I'm going to go 2019 and I'm fairly confident here for decent score, I guess. But Christchurch, Wellington, Auckland, where are we going to go? Just looking at the plants here. I'm going to go Auckland. I am going to go Auckland. I'm not going to think too much about where this is going to be. I'm just going to go in the center and we'll go 2019. Come on, make me rich. What? Was it 2020? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got a great score because <laughs> the insane thing about this is not that I was one year off the, the year, but the location was 461 meters off that is insane that could make it onto my insane guesses quite easily quite easily i can't even see anything for god's sake just the word new zealand u.s embassy okay well i, I don't actually know that the u.s embassy is in auckland i didn't know that i actually don't know the capital of new zealand i genuinely don't i wasn't sure is it Auckland? I don't know. I'm really sorry. Members at an event held by the America Chamber of Commerce in New Zealand. 2020 US elections. I, I was wrong about that, but, you know, no one can have a go at me with that score. Right, here we go. Let's keep this run going, man. Marsh National pour le droits et liberté à homosexual and lesbians. God, I'm good at French. Um... The, mar the National March. So it's in France. It's gay rights. That's kind of irrelevant here because I'm just going to be concentrating on the styles of the clothes 
and where this is. Where is that? Where is that column? I don't know. Um, but looking at these people, I wonder if we can see any bands. Imagine if we saw like a Sex Pistols or something. Nothing of the sort though. I'm going to say, based on these clothes, 78? 78 and Paris. That's all I need to do because I won't be punished by the distance clearly too much. Perfect scores. Impossible. Oh, look at that. There is some sort of thingamajig there. So I will go there and I'll go 1978 and we'll see what happens there. Oh, that's good. That is good. First National March of the Rights and Freedoms of Homosexuals and Lesbians. Three years off, which isn't bad. That gives me a score of 4,603 point two kilometers. And this is where we are. Maybe this is where they always protest and march about anything. Bastille. Okay, duly noted. 9528, cracking score. Let's keep marching on though, just like they did. Stevenson, not quite for such a profound course, but Stevenson for president. Progress and Prosperity, Poink Navy, City Hosp. I'm terrified that I'm going to really stuff something up here. I'm really liking this game. Um, and in particular, this game that I'm playing now, I might just upload this, whatever happens. We're all having fun. I mean, Jesus. Something community. Monroe. Monroe. Monroe County. Something community. That's. If it's Monroe County, that's not great. And that is the most, well, I was going to say 50s, but this is, this could be the 40s, couldn't it? It's a bit of water damage on the photo. Cabana, cocktail lounge, lounge. got a palm tree, it looks quite far south. Vote on November 4th. Monroe, Monroe, oh dear. I don't know about this, man. Oh my God, I've just found a Monroe. That is insane. I knew I knew I'd seen a Monroe, but I didn't know it was in Louisiana. Okay. Well, this could be good. Hang on a minute. I know it probably says Monroe County there, but Point Navy City Hosp. We've got the Mississippi. Is that the Mississippi River? No, it's not, but no, so there's not going to be a navy base up here. We don't actually have anything, do we? The chances of these things still going is ridiculous. And there is a Navy sailor. I didn't notice him. Ah. Uh, I don't think they're coming up here, man. So I don't think this is going to be right. But I'm going to go for it. Let's just go in the middle of there. And now for the year. Well... 45. Wait a minute. Key West. I don't believe it. Is this Key West? Oh God, good riddance, Monroe. See you later. Key West. It's got to be Key West. That makes more sense as well. Navy base. It's got to be a Navy base there. That's a very strategic place. If I do say so. Duval Street. Let's look at the shadows here. The shadows... The sun will be definitely in the south here. And the shadows come from there. So I would put us on something like this. I'm not even going to look for any of these <laughs> businesses. I'm going to go there and I'm going to go 1945, 1943. Oh, nine years off. Look at the location though. It was, it was there. It's the morning rather than the afternoon. That's the difference there. But the year is what's punished me there. It gets ex exponentially more punishing, doesn't it? Next round. We can still see the score. It's not too bad. But we really need to mop up here. Luckily, this one says something of Hamburg. Kaiser, Burgermeister of Hamburg. Is that a horse and cart? Or is that... I'm cheekily looking for dates on here. I need all the help I can get. That's a horse and cart. That's a horse and carriage, and it's in Hamburg, right? So is that Kaiser Wilhelm? Kaiser and Burgermeister 
of Hamburg. They're not necessarily in Hamburg. But what else can I do? What else can I do? I've got to go for it. I don't actually think we're here, but if this is a historic moment, what would this be? 1914? Could be older. Horse and cut. Would they have a car at that point? They might still travel. No, a king or a general might still travel in this sort of vehicle. This is a hard one. No, top hat. I'm going to go 1910. Now, this better be right. Let's hope that this photographer was local. No, the top hat is older. The top hat is older, my friend. I'm getting mixed up with the Titanic, the bowler hats. 1902, Hamburg City Hall. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, God, yes. Oh, good God, yes. Come on. And it is Wilhelm. Kaiser Wilhelm. I mean... Take a bow, son. That is, that's one of, that might be my top 10. Nah, shut up. German Emperor Wilhelm II in a motor vehicle. It is a, it's a motor vehicle. Um, are you sure? Are you sure in 1900 they're in a motor vehicle? You're the boss. 85 meters away. Nah, mate, that's insanity. Right, let's just move on to this last round. This is, right. Right, it's Fabio Capello. Oh, it actually is. Is it? I was joking, but I think it actually is. <laughs> United States Football League. That's got to be Fabio Capello. No? No, his English was terrible. United States Football League. Shit, we've got to do some fashion guessing here. So would that be pre-MLS? Oh God. Oh no, this is this I've just realized I've got to get the bloody the location as well. I could really blow it here. This is this is a big moment. United States Football League. <laughs> this is a this is hilarious because surely is that Kaka? Nah. Right, so right now, I don't know if this is Fabio Capello, and I don't know, as a result of that, whether this means soccer or football, because they call American football football. So I'm really confused. Generals. I feel like I need to Google. Do we get one Google per, per game? No, not yet. Right, fashion. But there's no way that's Kaka, for a start. Is that Fabio Capello? I'm just going to get him up for those who don't know who he is. This is kind of cheating. God, what a dashing guy when he was younger. Fabio Capello. Right? <laughs> I don't think it is him. No, it can't be because look, I mean, the reason it can't be him is because that's him in 2022, right? And that's him in what looks like 1992. So if <laughs> this is cheating, but I don't care. If we get a picture of him in 1992, That is not him. Sorry to waste your time. Okay, so we know that this is football, as in the one where they throw it, the one where they don't really use their feet. Um, I'm gonna lose so many points here, it's such a big country. Is that Donald Trump? I think that's Donald Trump. This is old. Who's that? 1980, I'm thinking. 1980, based on Donald Trump. How he looks there. 84. Who are the generals? Who are the generals? Who are the generals? The generals. Well, where's, where's he from? Donald Trump is from 
New Jersey, isn't it? The Generals. Jersey City Generals. Well, if that isn't a good name, I'll be damned. I'm going Jersey City. Maybe I can find the General Stadium. Oh, I'm so, I've never been so tempted to Google something. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm going Jersey City. I can't believe Trump's going to be the downfall of me. 1984. Miami Generals. Cincinnati Generals. Ah. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's New York. Oh, get in. Come on. And I was one year off. What a game that was. I am absolutely high off life right now. Trump and the general's owner, Fabio Capello, at a US football league. <laughs> Can't believe I thought it was him. He would have been probably still playing at that point. <laughs> at a US football league press conference in Trump Tower. So it wasn't at the stadium. Your guess was 8.3 kilometers. I did think that if it was in New York, I'd get sufficient points. But to get one year out for the year, wow. What a game, what a video, what an audience you've been. Thanks for watching. We'll do this again. Let me know what you wanna see. Do you wanna see Googling? Do you wanna see me try and beat this score? Let me know. Guys, I don't say this often, but I think it's warranted. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please. It really helps me out and have a great weekend.